Okay, in this a blender, we we talked about I was messing it really a large extent um, the motion curves and messing with that to try to create an animation around a pivot point. Um, this the old school way of doing pivot points and doing animation, repetitive animation, but. Uh, there's obvious, there's got to be better ways of doing things and they just um, they've forgotten um, how to interpolate uh, or extrapolate curves um, also I've noticed on newer versions of blender that at 2.8 or no 2.78 they supported uh, supposedly supported VR 180 video and then it just got lost on the later versions of Blender. They just lost consistency of it. And the only thing I can imagine is, is that there's somebody, and they're, they're not keeping track of their edits, and there's somebody that might even be actually going around screwing things up intentionally. Um, it wouldn't surprise me that they probably have insiders inside of Blender that are actually purposefully screwing things up just to keep people from using it effectively but that's that would be a reason to use forward and backward compatibility um, if you had if you're working on one and 2.79 B you could work back you could bring back stuff to 2.8 but there that's the curve stuff on older versions of blender it should support that const, constant keyframing. Because I've used it before. Oh, I've just forgotten which keys it is. Um, let me uh, go and load up that that cop, that thing we had, that file. Open it. And it was called something like um, stuff. Um... Type of crap it is what it's called. And uh, is it T? Is it Shift T? There it is. There's where the constant is. And uh, then you do a. Um, you make sure that you, yeah, you got the right thing selected. Then you do a cyclic extrapolation. Linear uh, cyclic. Uh, you make sure that it's. Oh, you know what's wrong? There's no keyframe over to the side. That's what's happening. It's changing, but it's. Um, this keyframe wasn't created. That was probably what was going on. Uh, the other. I have to select all these curves. Then I have to select this keyframe. Then I have to duplicate that and move it back to one. Hit OK. Oh, it's not. Oh, it, one is way the heck over there. Oh, now it's, yeah, it's doing it. So then. There we go. It's it's doing it. It's uh, it's but it's not doing it with respect to the right frames. Um, do keyframe select. square to see if it's doing it. It's still jumping a frame. And that's probably because the sub keyframe down here, when I changed it to interpolated mode, 
it just kept a the one of the keyframes. So uh, yeah, I don't need this keyframe here. Uh, I delete that, and then it should jump. That's still dropping. I don't know why. Maybe this keyframe is not directly on. Let's select that. Turn on keyframe. Select this. Move the. Move the. Select shift move to current to to frame and uh, take all the data and uh, make sure that it's using. constant V nope where is it doing that what keyframes are it? is it jumping out oh don't don't Oh, you know what it is? It's it's a it's it's a it's a glitch of one of the rotate one of the values the one of the axes is glitching, and oh. So one of the one of the rotations here is not aligned on the correct keyframe. So we go here and we see where this is aligned. That's on 30. And we select this and look at keyframes. Where that's aligned, it's 30. And then we select this. Uh, and we go turn on keyframes. Yeah. And see where that's lined. Ooh, that's 20. This is 30. Somewhere in there, it is jumping. It's not doing the correct rotation. It may be just a matter of doing it over again, um, getting the right rotation correct, finding where the jump frame is and seeing which thing is rotating still. So we could go to, we bug it here. Something's oh something's this is not rotating, this is not rotating back to the original value. So what we do is we find the 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 curve that is doing the rotation, and we select its starting vertice. Make sure that it's and uh, 
make sure that the point where it's resetting to is and this point is resetting to one and Okay, I'm not messing with it anymore. I'm I'm giving up on it. Once, oh, you know what it is? It's rotational value is what's screwed up. In and here the n is ninety. It really should be not negative five. It should be zero. So you had set the rotational value to zero and then hit OK and uh, set the keyframe for the current frame and that should fix it and, and uh, then that rotates, that rotates, this rotates, then it jumps. That rotation should be full, fully rotated by the time it jumps. Otherwise, the, there will be a noticeable. Um, so this is actually not supposed to do that. So we select these keyframes, we delete that keyframe, then we move this guy back here so that it's fully yeah, so that there we go, that should do it. Um, it shouldn't jump now. Uh, it's still jumping. How is it jumping? Bump, bump, bump. Oh. Oh, it's uh, what it is. It is the this axis right here is not centered on the right keyframe. It needs to be at 29. Or it is the right keyframe, but it's not centered. No, it should be on 29. Hit OK. And then we rotate it, rotate it back. And we'll try that and see if that's what it was. No, there's something. There's one of those curves that's not correct. It's not on the right keyframe. And that's the reason why it was screwing up. So uh, it's a matter of getting it right the first time that you have to get it to work. And so it's just a matter of reworking it over and over again. But the way you would do it now is you would use pivot points and you would, you would animate the pivot point and you would have to adjust your constant. Uh, and the way to fix it, if if you wanted to, um, to 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 get rid of the frame, you just take it out, the, take the frame out, and uh, put in another frame that uh, is correct. Now, if you think that people can do this stuff perfectly and that I'm doing it the incorrect way you're right but um, even with con with uh, people like um, Toy, Toy Story when they were working on Toy Story Pixar they had things they had inconsistencies in their own animation and they had to actually cut stuff out because they couldn't fix the animation and 
it's just the way that things are is that you'll run into errors that you can't fix and the only thing that's left to do is either cut out the animation that's conflicting or adding an extra frame or going in and modifying a frame just to get rid of certain artifacts that are appearing in your shots. And that's where we would use post-production and I think that's the next thing I'm going to talk about.